Hello everybody. In this video, this STM32 board with the LCD display. It got text, backlight off, backlight on. The is blinking. Uh, the cursor is on. Cursor is off. Uh, it got um, scrolling text. I'm going to fast forward the scrolling text. Uh, I got the numbers. It start from 1 to 200. Let's get started with this. The wiring connection here. I got blue, purple, hash and white color here. And the pin connected to here. And the blue color connected to the last pin this side. It's the Cube IDE. If anybody want to know how to install Cube IDE and uh, connect the ST link, there's a separate video. It's available here. Let's click uh, File, New. STM32 project. The commercial part number, we put the STM32 F030 F4. Uh, this is the one. Click next. Uh, give LCD for the name. Finish. Uh, click system core. Sys. Uh, debug serial wire and click connectivity uh, i2c1 i2c i2c that's all we can click save for simplicity i have given the code in my website link is in the description below and you go there this is the one um, there, there we need to put the library there are two files I have taken from this one and I modify a little bit. Uh, this file we need to go to core INC folder. So we click this one. We copy the file name liquid crystal. Copy it and we go to cube IDE. Uh, expand this core and expand INC folder. Right click INC folder, new file. And we paste the, we paste the file name here and finish. Uh, we go to the web again and we now we copy all of them these contents control a control c to copy go to cube by de and we paste it in here now we can save that one done now we go to web again and go back the second file we put into src folder click this one liquid crystal dot c copy it Go to cube ID and this folder we expand and uh, right click new file and paste the file name here and finish. And we copy all the contents control A, control C, and we paste it here. You can save it now. We go to main.c file and uh, main.c file we need to go back here. And user code begin includes, we copy this line and, uh, and paste it in here. And user code 2, we copy from here until user code end 2. That's here. Copy it. And we go to user code 2. That is here. We paste it can save it now so what's happening here is the use of code to be initialized and clear we put hello world in this position and clear it set the cursor hello and backlight off and then backlight on and the cursor on blink no blink um, this is how we uh, put the um, scrolling text can scroll like this and the number printing is here we put the number into this chart and then print that chart now we can upload the code Blink. yeah it is uploaded I have uploaded the code let's give the power on so on I got hello world and uh, backlight off, backlight on. 
cursor, cursor blinking, cursor off, and the uh, scrolling text. Uh, now this scrolling text is a bit slow. Uh, if you want to make it faster, I have another library with uh, uh, timer. Let's do that one. If you want to use the timer library, in the cube ID, go to the IOC file and uh, see the clock configuration. The clock uh, timer clock is 8 megahertz. So we need to microsecond delay. We need to make microsecond delay. So go to pinout on configuration, timers. We tick any, any unused timers. I'm using this one and make it activated. This timer run at uh, eight, 8 megahertz. So we need 1 megahertz for 1 microsecond delay. So what we do is we put 8 minus 1 because the timer clock is 8 megahertz. 8 minus 1 for the prescaler. Now it's 1 megahertz. Um, and we can save. Generate the code. And uh, go to the website again. So we did this one. We set this one. And uh, the library, we need to put this one for the uh, SRC folder. So we click this one. We select all of them. Copy it. And we go to cube IDE. Make sure this file, the file is already we have done. We select, we click this one. And we select, delete all of them. Select all and delete. And we paste the new one. Now it's, this is the new one from the uh, from this library. So when you go there, we have the timer 17 here. So that's here. So after that, we go back in the user code begin two. In the in the beginning, we copy this one and uh, if in the main.c file just below the user code begin to in here we paste it we start the timer for the microsecond delay so and then in the liquid crystal, crystal if you want to if you change if you want to different timer i use timer 17 you change this one to that timer because 17 you can keep it as it is and also you need to change timer 17 that's all we can click save all and upload the code yeah it's done that one also uploaded let's give the power on it's working like this thank you very much for watching if you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.